Welcome to Tech City Software Tech Channel. This is a tutorial on ExpressJS with the JavaScript Web Token that is JWT Web Token uh, authentication and also that is uh, and also for creation of user group and roles. In this tutorial, I'll be developing uh, JWT login Java JavaScript Web Token based login system and also I'll be creating user group and roles and privileges for each user. And also, the, uh, I'll be uh, using one more uh, node model that is uh, HTTP MSGs for sake of sending client messages. So I will uh, switch over to uh, the. Before that, I just want to talk about this. Uh, these two. Uh, from the first time when the login occurs with the username and the password from the uh, user, the server creates a uh, JavaScript of token for the individual user, and that token is sent to the client and client stores this token and every time whenever he makes one next request this token is sent to the server and it validates this token if it is valid it uh, uh, it further allows the processing on the server that's how this uh, javascript web token system works and also after that uh, after creating this system i have also been uh, i am also creating this uh, user group and roles what is user group and roles? I think so. Most of you must have seen WordPress where uh, there is a uh, we create groups like uh, administrators, editors, authors, uh, subscribers. Each will have different level of permissions. For that, uh, for that creation, this node model is used. So, with this brief uh, introduction, I will go to the Visual Studio Code and uh, show or uh, create this project. Now, I am on the Visual Studio Code. <laughs> I uh, just wanted to show already I have created this project in uh, uh, Visual Studio Code. This is on the master branch of the Git. Git. So in this master branch, I'll just show the project. Then uh, I will switch to the another branch where I'll start coding from the beginning. So initially, the, the first thing I want to show is the index.js, which is an entry file. Here, I have required Express, which is the node module and uh, HTTP MSG which is also a node which is also a node module this is for sending uh, uh, clients uh, requests uh, that is a uh, client's request like sending 200 200 uh, 500 error and all that this module is used and uh, JWT login JWT login is for creation of a JavaScript web token and also a uh, user group and roles that is to give for privileges to individual level of uh, users and also body parser is required for JavaScript express so now after this requires, I'll come down here. I'll just show you. I started uh, created the, the server at 9000 port, and also uh, here this is a at this level I'm creating the roles that is admin, editor, author, and subscriber. Create new roles. I have created these roles. After creating the roles, I will create. I have created uh, privileges. The uh, enumerated the privileges uh, for each route. That is get, post put delete routes these are four kinds of routes we can uh, uh, declare in express and uh, for that is for article get article post article put article delete this is a type of routes and uh, here with the routes i have uh, this is a description of the route and the default value so in case if the role has not been assigned uh, i'll come down here you can just come to know here in the first route i have told article dot get huh? article get and that is true that is default value here this is the admin here for admin role uh, we will assign the uh, privileges so i have only assigned three privileges for the get i have not assigned so by default the get is set to true whoever logs in if he is uh, is uh, allowed uh, logs in with this uh, and uh, has got a role he will be given this true value only by default hmm? If, we, if I, I can change it, but if whatever is if it is not declared, it will give the default value. For admin, I declared only two. For uh, uh, editor, I have only declared two. That means other two are default. Uh, author, I have declared only one. One for subscriber, I have not default declared. That means he has got only this true. Rest are all false for him. Like that, this works. So now after that. Uh, here, after coming down, I created routes for rendering uh, HTML files. That is a uh, login HTML file, post HTML file, put HTML file, delete HTML file. This uh, I have created these routes. Now, below, before that, after that, I have created uh, 
login post request this is to handle the uh, the login basically login it handles and if it is successful it will create a cookie or javascript web token on the client and it stores there as a cookie and uh, if it's not successful it sends a invalid error let's find an error to the client now that is a login this is logout this is logout this is login logout route after that uh, uh, yeah that is login and this is logout and after that i have created a middleware this is a valid login this middleware uh, is will uh, validate the javascript web token whenever it gets next request it validates the javascript web token whether it is, if it is valid it uh, returns that a uh, value in request.jwt hmm? to this it assigns the uh, returned value hmm? Uh, whatever that use basically it uh, returns the user user basically along with the user it also re returns the created date and expiry uh, expiry in minutes that's all it returns so uh, it it returns to the reader required dot jwt this is a middleware so this middleware we will be using for all the secured routes hmm? so these are the secured routes which i'm showing here now get route i have put the see you can see there as a middleware i put it here and as a put route i have put it here and post route then put route and delete route these are the way that uh, will create this uh, project and apart from that i also created html files here which are for rendering all types of login get a delete post put html files yeah. uh, and this is a model.js is basically it mimics the database connection hmm? With this brief introduction, I'll switch to one more uh, branch, which is a Tata branch, get checkout, which is actually a clean branch, except for the git, uh, git files, uh, tut, this is the branch of switch, I switched to Tata branch, you can see that. In Tata branch, there's nothing apart from the node models, uh, I can, uh, these are, but there are no files, I can reinstall them. Anyway, now I'll start creating the project npm uh, nit hmm? okay i'll hit enter okay it has created hmm? uh, see it has created it is asking for the name of the uh, project that is default i'll accept and description uh, i don't want to waste time on writing a description uh, index.js and uh, entry file test command git it has taken the git uh, whatever keyword you um, if you want to write key you can write keywords author i'll put it as channel name my channel name tech city and uh, license is mit and y y yes fine i have created package.json file now i will start creating index index dot ht index dot js hmm? and also model dot model dot js hmm? now, these are two files are created hmm? two files are created after that uh, here i will uh, start uh, uh, requiring uh, in fact in fact uh, downloading modules which i was talking about npm double hyphen save first one i want to download is express then jwt login then htvtp ms this then user groups roles then body parser uh, i think so i downloaded all of them hmm? i hit enter npm i think so i forgot to npm i double hyphen i forgot to write install there that's why it was not working express jwt login http msgs then uh, user groups roles 
then body parcel okay i think so i have not done any spelling mistake i'll hit enter now yeah it is downloading now it will take some time till then i will write start coding const express equal to require let it load express const body body parser parser equal to require require body parser hmm? then const um, then jwt login jwt ok I keep all small hmm? jwt login equal to require hmm? jwt login hmm? Okay, const. These are the models which I need them. Const roles. I'll call them roles. Hmm, that is equal to require hmm, user group and roles. Hmm. Then const HTTP MSGs equal to REQ. Hmm, that is HTTP msgs okay these are the models i have required now hmm. then const app equal to express okay then then app dot listen listen at 9000 hmm. then app dot I am setting up basically uh, uh, express hmm? app dot use that is body parser dot url encoded hmm? extended equal to this is to basically access uh, data that is posted from the client on the as in the body request now I have to create the HTML files these HTML files uh, which I had created, I uh, have kept it here. Uh, I'll show them and I will reuse them actually. There are HTML files here. You can see delete, get, login, all these files are created. I, what I'll do is uh, I will uh, copy all of them, copy all of them and uh, take into my project here. Because I don't want to uh, waste your time, keep you by uh, while, while typing basically it will take some time to type all those things that's why I want to use them I will discuss about each file when I'm using fine now uh, these are the files here you can see here the HTML folder contains login.html right now I want to access this file now this is the this contains HTML and also it contains a form here form element with the action is login method is post huh? and it will uh, what will do it will uh, send a user and a password and it will submit on submitting it will say send it to this uh, login route which is a post route okay now I am uh, creating uh, actually rendering that uh, HTML file which will be a get route uh, I will be creating a get route uh, that is to render that uh, login uh, that is HTML file this is just to render function req res okay i create i'm creating that then res dot send capital file i'll have to use the capital file hmm? uh, this uh, if it is small f it is depreciated that's why i'm using the capital file then i have to put the path of the uh, 
file which I want to render. That's the path of the file is it is inside HTML folder. So I will put a HTML folder. Then that uh, file name is login dot HTML. Hmm. This is going to render that. Hmm. We'll just test it whether it works. Hmm. No dot index. I'll go here. Here, then login and yeah. at uh, uh, that is get login. Yeah, it has rendered. You can see these two have come. Hmm? That page has come now. Now uh, that's about uh, creating them. I will also create other uh, rendering routes. Uh, app dot uh, get that is uh, post hmm? Hmm? that will render what it will do is it will uh, otherwise uh, just copy them and uh, start writing just because they are more or less similar I will copy this just to reduce the uh, time intake here it will be post hmm? route name is post and it will be also post hmm? post hmm? Then, uh, then I will have to put this is put out in this one also. Put fine. Mm -hmm. This is uh, okay, that's fine. Delete this route name is delete, hmm? and here also delete D L E T. Fine, these are the file which will be rendering hmm? so all the four routes are created for rendering all these files till now you, should, you saw how to create uh, the rendering files of uh, post put delete and also login and uh, correspondingly the these html files which are there in this uh, html folder i will go through one of uh, each one of them at the same time you saw me i uh, did not have a, a route to render this uh, get.html uh, I thought it can be just um, it can be just uh, accessed with the browser itself. This file uh, I'm not going to use uh, as of now. Uh, I'll just I'll go through these files individually. Now, first one I'll go through the post HTML file. Here, this post HTML file contains a, this is a simple file and there is a form element here with the form element which contains a submit button and also a text. Hmm? That's all is here. And with the submit, this will uh, uh, submit to the route called article and with method is post that's all is there in the post html and i want to tell you one more thing html5 supports get and post requests get and post but it doesn't support these uh, put and delete other part types of a request html5 doesn't support to achieve these uh, put and uh, delete uh, requests uh, methods we need to use a jquery and uh, uh, this is a delete. Uh, this is a put file. Now I'll go to put file. These are two put HTML. Here you can see me. You can see that there is a form element, and I left this uh, action and method uh, uh, vacant. And there is a submit button here. And I have got a uh, jQuery uh, CDN. And this jQuery CDN, I have done a jQuery uh, this one uh, a script here. You can see the script here. What I done is on form submit. Uh, event i will uh, oh, uh, this one it prevents a default so that uh, then it will create an ajax function huh? dollar dot ajax url is article method is put just focus on this method is put and data which i'm going to send and in on success it will lock to log the success to the console and if there is an error that also it will lock to the console now that about uh, uh, put request hmm? put request now I'll come to delete uh, HTML. In delete HTML is also very much similar. There's nothing different here except for uh, uh, this uh, delete here method delete instead of put. That's all. Huh? It is the same. That's about uh, these two uh, these HTML files. I'll just uh, uh, close the HTML files now. I'll start coding. Now we created this uh, HTML file. We saw them all. Now we'll start uh, this uh, first route, which is a uh, uh, app dot post which is a post route 
uh, for uh, handling the post uh, uh, request from the sub uh, login page i am talking about uh, uh, this page this route oh, sorry i'll just show this file yeah, from this file when we the user submits and logins when logins that uh, login which is a post route this for this to handle this i'm creating a route here so app dot post login then i'll go to function uh, function req re res res then okay this i'm just uh, writing here now just what i'll do is uh, i'll take up a try catch huh? uh, sorry try catch i'll keep hmm? Hmm? I'll catch. now here the first thing is i want to access the uh, as it being the post route posted the data will be posted here where data equal to hmm, req dot body hmm, req dot body hmm. okay that is the in the body the all data which is posted will come will be there as i am using a body parser body parser will put the in req dot data then uh, where dot user user can be accessed with uh, data dot user hmm. where dot password go to data dot password okay that's how i'll access them and when you access the when you got the user and the password which has been submitted from the login form then we need to uh, in a production environment we need to verify the user with the password whatever user is there with the password are they valid or not for that uh, we will make a database in a production environment we will make a uh, database connection and uh, uh, if that uh, you know the form data it will verify whether the given the user which has been sent is it uh, equal to the is it same corresponding password is there or not to check that you will see hmm? now uh, as I'm just showing demonstration, what I'm doing is I'm not actually connecting to the database. Instead, what I'm doing is if user is equal to the password, that means this is a, just I'm faking here to mimicking a database connection. If the user is equal to the password, then I'll consider it as a valid login. Otherwise, in the environment, in the production environment, it this uh, user and the password will be sent to the database. In from the database, it will verify and it will return. Uh, that uh, if it return then the process should start but here i just i don't want to waste time in connecting the database and all that i am uh, just using if user is equal to the password then i'll consider it is valid hmm. now i have to see uh, i have to sign the i have to sign with the jwt uh, login with sign i'm signing him huh? now the, he is a valid user user has signed with the a valid password because hmm. now the first argument for jwt login first argument is req same i'm going to put req then the res hmm. then the user this user hmm. user you have to give the username then we have to give secret key this will be used for encrypting uh, i will uh, just write a uh, uh, top uh, secret Hmm, top secret you can have a uh, your own secret key then expiry in minutes now this expiry in minutes will uh, if i you can uh, you have to set if you want to this uh, java basically what is done the create the does is it creates a javascript web token and by setting this in minutes whatever time you want maybe 30 minutes or 15 minutes or one hour one day uh, we can set after that this uh, javascript web token whatever has been uh, created it becomes invalid like that so expiry in minutes i will put as one minute huh? just for demonstration in a production environment usually they keep up to one hour or one day something like that but in this case i am making it one minute huh? now uh, https boolean boolean this if you are uh, accessing the if you are https then you set it to true otherwise will set it to false but now as uh, this is not https I will make it as false only. I will set it as false. 
if you are having a https server then set it as true that's what now uh, when java sign in occurs then it will be uh, it will create this in case if there is a not valid sign in it will throw an error so that you should send it will come it will come here uh, okay in case uh, if it is a uh, not a valid uh, uh, signature if it is not valid then you will have to put it as uh, HTTP sorry HTTP MS this otherwise you can uh, throw error here best thing is throw throw um, throw invalid login hmm? so if the user is not equal to the password if the user is not equal to the password I mean user is not a valid then it will uh, throw an error I'll catch that error here. Hmm? Now here, what I'll do is I'll send HTTP ne, msgs dot send 500 send 500 req res. Then the error what I wanted to send the error is this error. Right? I send it to the client like this. Hmm? This is how I created a post login route. Now after creating the post login route, I will go to uh, app dot get uh, logout route. I will create huh? logout logout route. Huh? That is function req res. Here what I will do is jwt login dot logout sign out sorry it is hmm? yes sir and sign out this one i'll call then i have to pass req res hmm? res and you have to set whether it is http yes hmm? i mean it is false https again same thing if you are using https server you set it as true otherwise set it as false if you have yes that's all hmm? Hmm. Okay. That's how to, how you create a login route. Now I will uh, create a middleware that is a valid login. A middle middleware to uh, check uh, the validity of the login for that uh, whenever the user makes a next request, this valid uh, uh, middleware will check it. That's with this middleware we have to check. Now I'll call valid valid hmm. I'll call valid login hmm. where valid login that equal to function function I'm making a middleware req res and then any xt hmm. Hmm. here I'll come now I will write try catch take a part try catch here and put it here huh okay now the valid login will be jwt login dot uh, valid login i'll use huh. then valid login is re re okay req res huh. okay. here i'll come to home actually this will return a value where uh, where it will give actually a token i'll call it as token whatever that token which has accessed from the client huh, it will give that where token it will give where token otherwise actually this is not uh, like this i will take req dot jwt hmm? so req is a uh, Java, javascript uh, object to that I am adding one more uh, property called a JWT and uh, when this uh, valid login will uh, generate uh, uh, valid login will create uh, what to say um, uh, generate that uh, to token that token will contain uh, that is basically a payload uh, payload will contain the user created date and expiry in minutes that's what will contain that will be given to 
that will pass to this here. Now here uh, after that I will call next hmm, next next function. In case if there is a generation of error, hmm, it will come down here. Hmm, hmm, next. Hmm. Next I will come here. Then uh, I will say HTTP MST was sent 500 REQ RES error. Hmm. This is a middleware I have created now. This middleware I will use it in further routes below. Okay. Now we created the uh, middleware. We will move on, start creating the routes which are secured routes. Hmm. Uh, initially, I will uh, just uh, create a cat route which I will call it as a uh, RT 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 call. Hmm? Okay, this is a, a secured route. I am not adding this uh, middleware here in this route. I am just showing it uh, without that. REQ RES then put here. Come, hmm? Now, uh, with this route, uh, I will what I'll do is HTTP MSGs uh, HTTP MS send send uh, JSON hmm? send JSON REQ RES okay, hmm? I put a JSON from I'll call it as from get. Hmm? So this is the this is what it is going to send. Hmm? This out. Hmm? I'll just show. Uh, now, uh, okay, I'll start the server. Index. I'll open up the Chrome. Ah, uh, Chrome, Chrome has opened. My server is starting at 9000 local host at 9000. Uh, there's nothing at 9000 actually because uh, that uh, not what I'll do is uh, I will go to uh, article state article out. It is selling. See, again, I just increase the font size. Yeah, see, it is selling from cat. Now I am able to access this. Hmm. Okay, I'll go back here. Go back here now. What I'll do is I will convert this uh, to uh, secured one for sake of converting secured gen second secured one. I have to put this middleware here valid login. This valid login uh, middleware. This one I am putting it in between here as a middleware now. Here after that, uh, what I'll do is uh, where user. Okay, I'll I'll do that later. Now I'll put a try catch segment. And it is better to keep things in try catch segment. In case of error, that will be there. Right. Okay. Try catch. And then yeah. HTTP MSC source send 500 REQ RES. Then error. Whatever error will be sent to this error it will be sent to the client now uh, I will just try to log in let us see what happens hmm. I'll try to refresh this same now it's selling not allowed to access the content because I'm trying to access the secured route huh? article which is a get a secured route it is not letting me access the content now what i will do is i will log in i will opening login this one here so according to our this one the login is uh, i am opening the console here i am on i mean uh, dev tools i will go to application and i want to show the cookies which will be produced here okay now i will put it a uh, i will uh, say tech as a user and tag as a password hmm? so same thing i'm putting it here i'll press login so when i press login it created uh, this uh, what do you say 
Java Java Web Token JWT Token here, and that is a, this is a token. Uh, this is a token, and uh, expiry it is in one month. This expiry and expiry minutes are different. It is in one month. This one is actually set to one month. Expiry in minutes is uh, not expiry of the cookies. They are different. And HTTP only same site hmm, strict. If if at all if I was using a HTTPS server, the one this would have I would have set it as a true HTTPS. So secure would have been there along with that. Okay, that's how I created now. Now after having logged in successfully, I'll try to access article. See, it is accepting. The article is accepting. Hmm. Hmm. Article is it is telling from get. What I'll do is I log out again. Log out. Log out is a simple log out. Hello. It also get request. Hmm. I log out. Now I logged out. Again, we, I'll try to log in. Because I have logged out, hmm. it is telling not allowed. Not allowed again. That's how that. Uh, 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 that's how this uh, JWT login works. Now, uh, after creating this uh, JWT login, I uh, will have to create uh, user groups and roles. For, for creating user groups and roles, I will start uh, writing code about that. Hmm? I'll come up to here on the top here, and uh, here I want to make some space here. Uh, here, I will write hmm? roles. Huh? Okay. First, I will create roles like uh, 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 roles dot create new role. Hmm? First new role I want to create is admin. Hmm? Admin. Then roles dot hmm, create new role. That is second one is editor. Hmm? The second role. Roles dot create new role the third role is author i want to create i'm trying to mimic uh, wordpress actually huh? roles dot new you can have the whatever names of the your roles you have if, if you want but just because uh, uh subs, subs, subscriber i think so i'm correct in my spelling okay these are the four type of roles i created now now I'll create privileges. Privileges. Huh? So there are uh, I'll create four types of privileges for article in connection to article. That is get, post, put, and delete. Hmm? So the first one is uh, roles dot uh, create new privileges. Sorry, this one I wrote. Uh, hmm? New privileges. Huh? I'll just close this new new privilege here in the first uh, argument in a few is the name of the privilege so as I'm creating a, a privilege in connect with respect to the uh, routes uh, I need to mention two things here uh, article okay uh, first is the name of the route and the second one is method that is get method first first privilege huh? then I have to get uh, write a description this is for our uh, get uh, this gets article huh? something I'm writing huh? then the third value is default value default value is in for this anybody who is logged in and has got uh, some role huh? he can access uh, the article only he can access he can see the article he cannot modify so uh, for that default uh, value as it is true now uh, roles dot create new privilege second one is uh, I'll put an array here uh, the second one is uh, what I'll do is I'll copy this because uh, these are more or less uh, the similar oh, okay. I'll copy this article and I'll convert this into post post and this is false I'll put it as false not necessarily you can you should have true and false you can give any value like numbers number of days and all that numbers minutes whatever this value can be anything huh, huh? it's not necessary huh? to be 
uh, this one third one is article dot put put and this is false uh, this is puts insert like that create then edit uh, uh, like that from description it is the third one is I'll just copy the thing one thing come down put it here then this is delete D -E -D. delete this deletes article deletes article now these are the four privileges I created now after creating uh, privileges and roles now I have to assign these roles to this uh, uh, these roles and uh, to these privileges for the first role I'll choose is admin hmm? admin hmm? so in a, for the admin uh, I will say roles dot add privileges to roles hmm? and the first thing it is asking a role but which role you want to say the first role is in this is admin hmm? admi admin hmm? then comma the second option is the privilege the privilege is uh, I don't want to take up this get request because the default only is acceptable to me. So I'm just doing it. I'll go to the second one here. Hmm? I'll go to the second one, this one. Hmm? I'll paste that. Here. Hmm? Then the third option is hmm? as he is an admin, he has got a right to do anything. Na? So I given him true. Hmm? Hmm? Default value is false. So for admin has got a true now. Second option is uh, admin. I will uh, put it as put. For put also it is true for him. Third one is admin delete. Delete. Hmm. This is how these are three privileges I created now. The second uh, then is editor. I will go to editor. Hmm. Editor. Roles dot add privileges hmm. then for editor editor has got a permission to put post and put but he doesn't have a permission to delete huh? so I will do what I'll do is uh, the I will write here the role first one is role editor huh? okay, editor. same thing editor then he has and then he has to he has permission to uh, Sorry, I'll copy this, paste here, then that is true. Hmm. I'll copy the whole thing. It is put. So, editor has got a permission to insert and edit, but he doesn't have permission to delete. Now, author. Next, I'll say author. Author. Author has, I'll just copy. Author has only one permission that is, he can only put insert. He doesn't have permission to edit. Hmm. Author has, I'll change this to author. He has got a permission to post, but doesn't have permission to edit. The default value will be, will be assigned to the author. And right? default value like that, it goes. One subscriber, I don't want to write anything. Because his only permission is to see other things are anyway false. A subscriber, I won't write anything. I don't write anything. So that's how these are the privileges and roles and uh, uh, yeah, assigning roles to privileges are created now. We after creating these privileges roles and uh, we have to use them in this uh, uh, routes which are secured routes here. Now for using them in the secured routes, first uh, we have to access the the user. Who is the user like that one we can get it from this middleware this we can see this uh, uh, middleware valid login it returns uh, req dot jwt so what i'll do is uh, var huh, user huh, equal to req dot jwt dot user hmm. this will contain the username hmm. this one will contain the username now for this user uh, I have to uh, actually get the role whatever is the role 
in uh, in applications what we do is in actual uh, real world applications the roles will be uh, the user roles will be said will be kept in the database so but here in this uh, as i'm only demonstrating instead of going into the database connecting and all that and wasting time i will uh, uh, what i uh, will mimic it with uh, one more file called a uh, model.js here i'm opening this model.js i'll write uh, here something like where uh, role users uh, i'll call it as this is role user uh, this will i'll create a javascript object uh, so i'll keep it here now i will uh, create a uh, users uh, otherwise it will be better called as user roles user, from user i am getting roles no? better to call as user roles so that will be a nice name now here the first user will be admin um, ravi hmm? admin ravi is the my first user hmm? so he will be uh, admin hmm? and admin after that this this is not done in a real world applications these things are stored in a database actually hmm? uh, editor uh, ravi hmm? so editor ravi is editor he is wrong then the third one is author hmm? ravi hmm? these are users these are all users admin ravi auditor ravi and this. these are roles here and the author ravi is author author hmm? then the last one is subscriber that is i'll just put as sub ravi hmm? Hmm? he is subscriber hmm? sub sorry sub subscriber hmm? these are the four uh, users and the respective uh roles i have created now to access them where otherwise uh, model dot exports exports and just uh, sorry exp exports dot hmm, the get roles roles equal to hmm, user hmm? user hmm? but user is a user roles hmm? user role what I'll return it will just return here return hmm? user roles user hmm? Hmm? it will return the role actually by when I said it will return the role hmm? So this is how uh, I am returning. Uh, so if I uh, log in with the admin Ravi, it will say the admin. So like that, sub Ravi means subscriber. Like that, it will give this function. I am exporting it here. Hmm? I have to include this model here in this page. Hmm? You come down here. Const. Const. I will call it as a model only. Model equal to REQ req dot that is here a model this i am requiring it here fine now i'll come down to this here so the subscribe okay i'll come here now that user i have to use huh? model where role equal to this is role equal to model dot get roles huh? get roles it will take one argument that is user hmm? so thus i can get the role now hmm? yes i can get the role after having got the role hmm, i have to oh, oh, check the permission per permission what permit privileges he has now for that i will say roles dot get there are two here see get role route privileges value i'm going to use this in case uh, if you're not use array here uh, there are two here i just how it comes come up here 
now as i am using this array here this is array using array i have to use uh, get role route privileges get role route privileges i have to use this will accept the uh, role the row first one is a role what is a role Hmm. It will accept role as the first argument. Second argument, the route URL or the route, whatever. First one is second is URL. I have to give the URL. What is the URL? This article is my URL. Hmm. Article. Then the method is get. That is my method. Now it will rolls get it will uh, it will go and get this hmm? and if it is the it in fact uh, it will return a value where value equal to this hmm? I just close this because it's coming other way okay it return the value now because the value in this case is a true or false if if the value is true hmm? if the value is true hmm? then it's fine for us hmm? then i'll send this hmm? message hmm? Hmm? else if it is not true hmm? if it is not true i will say throw hmm? error i'll throw an error hmm? the error is Hmm. Invalid hmm. user uh, role hmm. permission. I'll say hmm. I can whatever you want, right? You can say right invalid user role permission. Hmm. Okay, that will be caught here. That's, error. Hmm. That's how we can uh, have a get request. Hmm. Now I'll start duplicating these things. I'll go for a post request hmm. similarly. I'll just reduce this, uh, remove the spaces so that it becomes easy. It doesn't con consume a lot of space here. Fine now. Hmm. Put a semicolon. Hmm. Now I'll copy this. Copy this. Come now. Oh, sorry, I did something. Okay, don't copy things properly. Copy. paste this is this will be a app dot post post and here article valid login record as well this one is same then i'll come down here and convert this into post hmm. now from post i'll put it as you should get to send a post from post letter throw invite permission okay this is fine now again i'll copy Come down here. I'll put it as put put. Then here put now I'll put put. Okay, that should be okay. Hmm? Copy paste. This is delete. Hmm? Delete. delete hmm? this also delete hmm? okay these are the four routes are created with this uh, more or less my project uh, is uh, completed uh, we'll test it now hmm? node index okay come come back here now we should not accept it not accept now i will uh, local host then i'll go to login hmm? or log now first one i will uh, uh, try to log in as a uh, admin hmm? admin ravi hmm? i'll call it admin ravi same thing i will say I'll copy this i don't want to do mistakes here 
right and login so i logged in logged in successfully now i will try to uh, go to a uh, post uh, page now this is a post page this one and i click it should submit with a post request huh we'll see what it happens huh i'll just press submit so from post as i am a login i have logged in as a administrator it is allowing me now i will uh, share uh, then uh, after that i'll go to i'll show you put if you want to huh? put huh? put here then i'll press uh, here as a put and this one are uh, a jquery accessed so i'll have to open the console they will show in the they'll come here in the console the results will be shown in the console so i am put i put put here so it's telling from huh? Huh? put it's not telling uh, it's putting console in here putting in the it here then similarly delete delete also if i say i have got permission to delete hmm? that's what it, I'm, I'm about to get it here now what i will do is uh, i will go login and uh, become a sub sub ravi hmm? Hmm? i think it's a sub ravi yeah. sub ravi and try to login let us see what happens hmm? sub ravi has access for article get request is got so from get it is accepting subscriber ravi has got a permission to get but i will try to post him i would like to use a post request hmm? so this is a post request i'll press see internal error occur invalid user role permission installing so he doesn't have authority to to uh, post articles hmm? now similarly if i go to put here and try to uh, press it will come here error has come here see error it has come hmm? for subscriber ravi this is not allowed hmm? this is not allowed hmm? it is telling invalid user permission similarly hmm, delete if i permit delete see it is not possible subscriber ravi hmm? if you like that you can test for all the roles huh? all the roles this code will be uh, in the github i'll put the link in the description kindly go through and uh, please subscribe to my channel and uh, if you got any doubts put them in the comments i will answer them all hmm? thank you